Lord, it's, it's you. It is, and you are not one of my sheep. What? Lord, I went to church. I know the scriptures. I told people about you. You know how much I gave up? Oh, really? Let's see. <laughs> Remember all of the times I asked for help and you walked right on by? Remember? I called you from prison many times and you never would take my call. Remember how many times I would come up to you and I would just ask for something to eat? Not even money, just food. Not even money, just food. Lord, when did I ever see you asking for help or walk past you? When did you ever call me from prison? Ma'am, whatever you did for all of those people, you would have been doing for me. Whatever you did not do for them, you did not do for me. You say you know the scriptures. Well, do you remember this verse? Many will come to me on that day saying, Lord, Lord, and I will tell them, depart from me. I never knew you. What? You know, we uh, created that video because, you know, you hear a lot about how we have to get ready because Jesus is on his way. He's coming back soon. And that's true. But God put it on my heart to just say we could stand before Jesus at any point. We could stand before him tomorrow, next week. We, you, you just never know. You never know. And when we do stand before him, we don't want what happened to her to happen to us. You know, that video may seem like it was a neat presentation, but the truth is that's exactly what the Bible says many people will hear. It says many people will stand before Jesus and will say things like, Lord, Lord, you know, I did this for you. I did that for you. And he's going to look right at them and say, I don't know you. Why? Well, it says it in the scripture. He's going to say, you know, I was needing clothes and you didn't clothe me. I needed food. You didn't feed me. I was in prison. You never visited me. Basically, he's going to say the way they treated others is how they treated him. And he says, you know, the, they will know that you are a follower of mine by how you love one another. The key is love. He's saying so often that the true mark of being a follower of mine is not just how religious you are, it's how loving you are. And so, you know, we gotta examine ourselves. I gotta examine myself. Because when we stand before Christ, what will he say about the way we treated people? Better yet, what will he say about the way we treated him. Something to think about.